And now, what's my line? Brought to you by Stop It Spray Deodorant. Poof, there goes perspiration. Poof Deodorant Body Powder, the body powder you spray. The Nest Shampoo, the new flowing cream shampoo. All in the first truly functional cosmetic containers. Far easier to use. All created by Dr. Jules Montagnier, the famous cosmetic chemist. Time now to enjoy What's My Line? And now let's meet our What's My Line panel of well-known personalities whose lines you already know. First, the popular columnist whose voice of Broadway appears in the New York Journal American and papers Coast to Coast, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. the delightful publisher, lecturer, and humorous columnist, Mr. Bennett Sir. And on my left, I can say without contradiction, the hottest television panelist in town, <laughs> Miss Arlene Francis. And on my li left, lift. Lift. <laughs> <laughs> on my left, Chicago's gift in New York, Hal Dimple's block. On my left, my favorite news commentator, a man who told me who Truman's favorite choice is. I think it's Margaret, isn't it? <laughs> John Davis. I'll say one thing, Brother Block. That's as good a guess as I've heard out in Chicago. <laughs> good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to What's My Line, presented by Stop It. Once again tonight, we have some folks from various parts of the country with various kinds of jobs, all of them, I think, interesting. We hope also, as far as the panel is concerned, unexpected. They're going to give the panel a run for the money. They hope to carry home some prizes. We'll also have a famous guest challenger before the panel a bit later in the program, but right now it's time for our experts to start the ball rolling and to meet the first challenger whose job they've got to spot. Will you sign in, please, sir? Robert? Robert Kirby, is that right? How are you, sir? How are you nice doing? to see you. Mr. Kilby, where are you from? I'm from the uh, Chicago suburb of Berlin. The Chicago suburb. This Chicago. Is program is weighted. Mr. Block is also from Chicago, and Chicago has been trying to live it down for a long time. <laughs> so we know. So now let's live it up a little. <laughs> okay, let's go. Well, why don't you go over and see Mr. Block and the rest of our friends on the panel, will you please? How are you? Hello. He says hello to me and looks at Arlene. <laughs> no fool he. <laughs> All right, Mr. Kilby, will you come over here and sit down next to me, please? And on the basis of that brief tour in front of the panel, we give them at this time one free guess as to what your line may be. We'll begin the free guesses with Miss Kilgallen. I think he's the curator of a museum in Chicago. Mr. Sir. I think he's a spy from one of those 8,000 other television panel shows that started this Miss <laughs> Francis. I think he's the head chef in the pump room in Chicago. Ooh. Mr. Block. I think he sells walking sticks to Democrats who refuse to run. <laughs> no, I'm afraid nobody's right. We'll let our viewers at home have a further look at Mr. Kilby, and at the same time, we'll tell them what his line is. But the panel's got to dig, Mr. Kilby. Every time you can give them a no answer, it's going to cost them $5, and we keep the record right up here. Ten no's or $50, and you've won the game. Now, Mr. Kilby is salaried. With that, we'll begin the general questioning with Bennett Surf. Mr. Kilby, do you work for a profit-making organization? Definitely. Is there a product connected with what you do? There is. Is this product uh, portable easily? Yes. Uh, could it be carried uh, by a slender, delicate little creature like either Miss Kilgallen or Miss Francis? <laughs> or me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Would it be likely to be carried by either of those ladies? It could be, yes. It, it could be. I would say that there are circumstances under which both of these lovely flowers of womanhood might be bearing this product. <laughs> I take it that neither of the flowers are carrying this product now. Is we do not feel qualified to answer that question. <laughs> Well, might you say, then, that this product is, uh, w if they were carrying it, would not be visible to the naked eye? Uh, I would say under most circumstances, it would not be visible to the naked eye. Although there are circumstances when it would be visible to the naked eye, too. Am I to gather from all this uh, small talk that this is an article of apparel? No. That would be one... I did one not gather correctly. You can gather that that's one down and nine to go, too. All right, Miss Francis? 
Uh, however, it is something that is worn or carried on the person. Is that yes. correct? Uh, uh, would it be uh, anything that might be uh, worn from the neck up? No. No, I don't think this would be worn from the neck up. That's two down and eight to go, Mr. Block. <laughs> Could be worn from the neck down. Uh, would it... Hmm. I'd better get on another line of questions. <laughs> uh, does it come in contact with the uh, body? Yes. Is it uh, ever used by women? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> Is it ever worn from the waist down? Yes. <laughs> Could it be worn in different places? Mm. Yes. Could it ever be worn on the beach? Yes. <laughs> well, when it's worn, does a lot of skin show? Well, I think when it's worn, a lot of skin shows, don't you? Yes. Well, say, would Miss America ever be found wearing this? Uh, yes, it is quite possible that Miss America could be found wearing this. <laughs> Uh, is it a bathing suit? No. No, that's uh, three down and seven to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, is it smaller than a bathing suit? Yes. Uh, in other words, if you were wearing this, you'd have to wear a great deal else. I would think so. Yes. <laughs> would this uh, be something that performed a useful function? Yes. Uh, is it also considered decorative by many gentlemen? Uh, <laughs> I hope you're not going to be hurt. I will say no to that. Four down and six to go, Mr. Sir. Mr. Kelby, does this uh, product uh, make the person who is using it a uh, healthier individual? Uh, yes, I would say under certain circumstances that it would. Is it uh, some kind of, would it be possible to purchase this in a drugstore? Yes. It would. Does it, uh, is it usually bought more than one at a time? Uh, it could be, yes. Is it a solid? Uh, yes. Is it uh, something that uh, is swallowed? Oh, no. <laughs> five dollars, five to go, Miss Brent. Is it something that when you put it on, it sticks there. Uh, does it adhere? Yes. It adheres. Does it adhere? Uh, oh, brother. Okay, you say it so much better than I do. Uh, is it something that you put on if there is an ache or a pain in any region? Mm, yes. Uh, would it be considered in any way a plaster? Uh, I would say that it would possibly fall in that general category. Um, did you say this comes in different sizes? The, well, it does, yes. The plastic? Yes, yes, yes. um, I wish I could make a decision between the feet and the back. <laughs> <laughs> well, go in between. Um, is it something you might put on your back? Oh, it's no. on the feet. Uh, <laughs> six down and four to go, Mr. Block. Uh, could it be on the feet? Yes, it could be on the feet. And it sticks? Yes. And it's a plaster? Well, it's I think I, Arlene helped us a little bit on that. Has it anything to do with some of the jokes I tell? <laughs> yes, actually, a great deal. <laughs> Would you say it was a corn plaster? Well, I think that's close enough. That's yeah. close enough. It's a corn pad. Corn yeah. pad. No, well, well, you're not going to hurt me for a plaster. No, we're not hurting you. <laughs> What does Mr. Kilby have to do with corn pads? Does he sell them? That's right. He sells them. Very good. <laughs> well, Mr. Kilby, you did very well with the prizes and certainly brought us a lot of fun when you came to be our guest. Thanks for coming to visit us. Thank you. Nice to see you. All right, let's see if we can do another one. Will you sign in, please, ma'am? Mary Ball. Tell us, first of all, where you live. Riverdale, Maryland. 
Riverdale, Maryland. That's right outside of Washington, D.C., okay. isn't it? Well, that's fine country. I know it well, and I've got some new country for you to explore. Will you walk down there in front of the panel for me, please? Is it Miss Baum or Mrs. Baum? Mrs. Mrs. That always happens. <laughs> All right, Mrs. Baum, will you come over here and sit down next to me, please? And on the basis of your handwriting, the fact that you come from Riverdale in Maryland, and the quick look that our friends have had at you, we give them at this point one free guess as to what your line may be. We'll begin the free guesses with Miss Kilgallen. I think she manufactures hush puppies. She <laughs> manufactures hush puppies? Mr. Sir. I think she works for the FBI. Miss Francis. <laughs> I think she trains hunting dogs. Mr. Block. I think she's probably Chiquita Banana. And if she is, I'd like to be one of the bunch. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's got it, so we'll let our viewers at home have a further look at Mrs. Baum, and at the same time, we'll tell them what her line is. But, panel, you've got to dig. <laughs> Mrs. Baum, you just give them a few no answers. We'll rack them up here. Five dollars a piece, ten no's, fifty dollars. You've won the game. Mrs. Baum is self-employed. With that, we'll begin the general questioning with Mr. Block. Thank you. Do you deal in uh, services? Yes. Uh, do people come to you? Yes. Do you move around rather than stay in one place? Yes. In your work? Yes. Do you use uh, special equipment? Sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, are the people that come to you, are they ever men? Uh, no. Never they had could a, be. They could. Well, you want to be generous and give them a could be? <laughs> Actually, I'd like to see this myself. We'll give you a could be on that, Mr. Block. You go ahead. Well, do you, uh, do you wear a special uniform or costume in what you do? A sometime. Just a sometime girl. <laughs> uh, are the people you come in contact with, are they ever sitting down? Sometimes. Well, now that, I think, to be perfectly fair, we all sit down at one time or another during the day, you know. Well, do you ever use your hands in your work? Yes. Which is, I thought it was a manicure, but I guess. I'll, I'll pass to Dorothy. All right, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, you say you move about in your work. Uh, yes. Do you move about in a prescribed area rather than moving about from town to town? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, is this in an enclosure where you do this moving? Yes. And most of your customers are something other than men. Yes. Are they women? Yes. Very hey. good, Miss Kilgallen. Very oh, good. Oh, just told you. Wouldn't have to be so. Could uh, be an animal. I was worried about animals and children, Mr. Daly. Uh, do these women come to you in groups? Sometimes. They can also get individual appointments? That's right. And is what you do something that makes them um, healthier or better looking? Well, it could. Well, do they hope it will? They hope it will. Uh, does it have anything to do with altering their appearance in any way? No. That's one down and nine to go, Mr. Sir. Mrs. Baum, when these ladies or lady are in your presence, do you do any kind of lecturing to them? I beg your pardon? Do you speak to them a great yes. deal? Well, I'm not necessarily not. a great deal. I mean, but it is, you, I you think, do. normal that uh, Mrs. Baum would speak to them. Well, do you teach them anything? Yes. Do they come to you for instruction in some particular thing? Yes. Is the thing that they come for instruction in uh, something to do with uh, the human body and its preservation? And its preservation? Yeah. That'll cost you a no. That's two down a day to go. <laughs> Miss Francis. Do you use, uh, besides using your hands, do you use any kind of... Uh, tool or do you implement your work with any sort of utensils of any kind? Yes. Do you teach uh, women something that will be beneficial to them in the home? No. <laughs> be Just fun. Outside work, huh? Be fun, but I don't think it'd be beneficial <laughs> in the home. That's three down and seven to go, Mr. Block. Well, do you teach them something that uh, maybe is amusing? Sometimes. Or entertaining? <laughs> yes. Doesn't anything ever happen all the time with you? <laughs> uh, is it something, perhaps, maybe that, that could be in the entertainment world? Yes. That you teach? It could be. It's a lied, in a way. It's a lied, in a way? It's a lied to the entertainment. Is it, uh, has it anything to do with uh, preparing them for the stage? Well, it could. 
<laughs> Could I have a small comp? You may have 30 seconds for a conference. A caucus, I'm sorry. A caucus, yeah. <laughs> Maybe she's a speech teacher. Or, or but she moves around. Uh, oh. Well, how do you think she moves? Well, maybe maybe it's, uh, could it be dramatic or dancing or anything like dramatic. that? Go ahead, try. But it's women, and, and it, he thinks that it would be sort of funny if men did it. Maybe it's something like ballet or, well. Does it have anything to do with, thank you, darling. No, Does it have anything not. to do with the dancing? Yes. Oh, this couldn't be another Arthur Murray dancer. Are you, uh, uh, do you work for Arthur Murray? No. That's four down and six to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, but you are a dancing teacher? Yes. Uh, you teach down in Maryland, I suppose, do you? Yes. Well, now, do I have to find out what kind of dancing mm -hmm. you teach? Uh, well, shall I say that it is, uh, is it uh, something besides ballroom dancing? Yes. Uh, it's something a little more, um, uh, Delicate, shall we say, or uh, uh, a little more well, yes, it is more it theatrical. It's considered delicate. Well, would it be a form of ballet? A form of ballet? Yes. No, that I'm afraid isn't it. Five down and five to go, Mr. Sir. Uh, could this be a kind of folk dancing that you teach? No. No. Uh, I think that we could, under the broadest possible interpretation, consider it that it has something to do with a folk dance. Depends on the folks. Uh, huh? I, take it, <laughs> I take it this is not a dance that is done uh, usually in the western regions of the United States. It didn't have its inception there, is that correct? Yes, it did not have its inception. Did it have its inception in the uh, olden times in, in Europe, possibly? That would make it six down and four to go. Uh, is it uh, very active, this dancing? Well, it's considered so by some, isn't it? Yes. Would, you, would it uh, be popular in uh, Spain or South America? No. No, I don't think, not in the term of, uh, not how you use popular. <laughs> Mr. Block, are you a sort of a hip dancer? <laughs> do you move your hips around quite a bit? Yes. Do you do the rumba? That makes it eight dollars, two to go, Miss Kilgallen. Are you a Hawaiian dancer or hula dancer? That's a one. I have one objection. I would think that that would be very handy in the home. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, I said it was a lot of fun, but I didn't know how handy it was. But you did very well with the prize, Mr. Bob, and you certainly were a great guest for us. Nice Thank to have you. you with us in What's My Line. Good night. <laughs> and now we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery celebrity. Our panel all have been blindfolded. Are the blindfolds all in place, panel? Mm -hmm. Yowza. Good. Will you come in, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? Panel, as you know, in the case of our mystery celebrity, we get right down to business, and we will begin the general questioning with Dorothy Kilgallen. Are you in the entertainment business? Si, senora. Ha! Huh. <laughs> what do you say? This si, is a Hawaiian. <laughs> uh, are you an actor? Are you a what? Actor. No creo que si. I beg si. your pardon. Si. Um... I wish I could answer back, but I can't. Uh, do you do something besides acting? No, senora. That's one down to nine to go, Mr. Sir. Did, did I understand you to say that you were an actor? Well, we use the generic term. Wouldn't, wouldn't this rather be an actress? Well, we use the generic term. Uh, are you not of the feminine persuasion? Si, senor. Brother, that was a long way around. Yeah. You got that very well. Uh, Am I correct in assuming that uh, Spanish is not your native tongue? Si, senor. You're just doing this to fool the poor, hot panelists. <laughs> Ojalá que si. Uh, what? I hope so. <laughs> have, you, uh, have you ever uh, uh, portrayed a role on the motion picture screen? Si, senor. Have you also appeared in television? Si, senor. Uh, are you uh, considered on the beautiful side? Yes, sir. <laughs> see, see. 
Uh, would you say that you were uh, youthful? Mm hmm. I, I didn't hear the answer. Gracias. <laughs> I, I think yes is the answer to that, Mr. Sir. Uh, are you, were you born in America? Sí, señor. Uh, were you born in the eastern part of America? No, senor. That's two down and eight to go, Miss Francis. Senorita. <laughs> <laughs> Are you mostly known for your parts in pictures? Huh? Maybe I could have asked known? me in English. They even got me doing it. Are you mostly known for your parts in pictures? Are you mostly known for a picture career, Pedro? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, are you a leading woman type? Si, sí, senora. Uh, have you uh, been associated uh, m mostly with one studio? As a contract player? Uh, that's a rather rough one to answer. We, I think perhaps we can get around it by saying you have been associated with a studio. Si, sí. si. Sí. Uh, have you ever appeared in the theater? No, senora. No, huh? That's three down okay. and seven to go, Mr. Block. Senorita, are you cool today and hot tamale? <laughs> uh, have you... Have you been in pictures in the last, say, three years? Si, senor. This is a sea girl. <laughs> uh, have you been in pictures in the last year? Si, senor. Are you the type of girl that I might like to take out after the show? I hope so, senor. I can't think of anyone I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> that goes without saying, Mr. Block. Go on. <laughs> Sorry I said it. Goes without saying. Are you the type of girl that goes around with a quart of fruit on your head? No, senor. Like Carmen Run. No, that's four down and six to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, when I asked you if you did anything besides act, you said no. So may I assume that you are not usually associated with musical pictures? I did not understand. Uh, you are not usually associated with musical pictures? Not usually, no, senora. Are you a comedian in any sense of the word? Sometimes. Uh, are you a pinup girl type? Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> And you, well, if she doesn't sing, are you blonde? No, I mean, now? <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll have to say yes now. We have only, no, that isn't blonde. This is a kid that well, dies for a I'll profession. I'll pass to Bennett then, because if she doesn't sing, I really don't know. We have less than three minutes to go, Mr. Sir. Are you related to me in any shape, manner, or form? Are you related to him in any shape, manner, or form? No, senor. Wishful thinking, Francis. Bennett. I didn't think so. Five dots and five to go, Miss Francis. Now, let's see. We have to... She's, she has worked in a studio for a, a certain length of time. I mean, for example, as Bette Davis worked at Warner Brothers for a certain length of time. Si, uh, did you work at a studio for any length of time? Like... See? Si? See. Si. Si, senor. Uh, you're a blonde now, John said, you were something else. Were you ever a redhead? See. Si. Uh, we have only two minutes to go, Miss Francis. Not even thinking of anybody. I'm just driving myself crazy. <laughs> uh, you think uh, you're driving yourself now? <laughs> Do you dance? My little bit. My little bit? <laughs> <laughs> However, you are known mostly as an actress. Are you a, um... Uh, a serious actress, as opposed to a comedian. Sometimes. Sometimes you're uh, happy, sometimes you're sad, huh? Um, See? Are you always the star of the picture you are in? Yes. Uh, do you... Uh, does one see you around New York a great deal? Sometimes. <laughs> we have a little more than a minute to go, Miss Francis. Uh, I'm nowhere. Oh, yes, I mean, this should is we New take York. down the studios? Yes, that's a good idea. Well, Shall I take one more studio? Yes. Are you with Paramount? No, senora. Thanks, loads. Six <laughs> down and four to go, Mr. Block. Have I read your name in the columns, say, in the last six months? Oh, come on. Si, yes. senor. No, with all the C's, I'd like to see this kid. <laughs> uh, 
Is that, are you really not Spanish? No, senor. Uh, si, senor. Really? <laughs> yeah, I guess it's really not Spanish. Well, then are you an American? Si, senor. Then what are you doing with the action? Why don't you take another studio, Hal? Uh, well, who did you say? I said Paramount. Uh, were you ever with, uh, 20th? I have worked there, si, senor. You've worked at 20th? Si, senor. But you I'm were under, under contract to a different studio. Mr. No, Buck, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ring the curtain down pictures. on you all because... Talk into the Mr. Serf, I'm sorry, our time is up. You may take off your blindfolds now and find out that our mystery celebrity <laughs> is... This is a failure. ...and Sheridan. Oh, no. <laughs> Shirt marks to the sea with nothing like this. And now, in just a moment, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to give you a preview look at one of our guests whose line our panel is going to be asked to identify on next week's... Next week at this same time, our panel of experts will be asked, what's my line by this man? Would you know what his occupation is? Could you find out his job? Well, for the answers to those questions and a good many others, be sure to be with us again next Sunday night at 10.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time when once again Stopette invites you to play What's My Line. For other localities, check your local listings for the date and time of our weekly series. Until then, this is John Daly saying good night, Dorothy. Good night, Bennett. Good night, Arlene. Good night, Hal. And a happy corn plaster, John Daly. <laughs> <laughs> and good night, ladies and gentlemen, and thanks for being with us on What's My Line. Hey, won't you play some beat the clock games with Bud Collier next? Then strike a match with Gene Rayburn and the gang on Match Game, only on Game Show Network. <laughs>